So there's this movie called Armageddon, right? Bruce Willis, Ben Affleck, and a bunch of other Hollywood types launched a couple of space shuttles, landed on an asteroid, planted a nuke, and blew it up, saved the world, all to an Aerosmith soundtrack. Well, this next story is kind of like that, only no nukes and no Steven Tyler, sadly. sadly. The OSIRIS-REx Explorer from NASA and Lockheed Martin landed on an asteroid hurtling through space this afternoon and took samples of rocks and dirt. Landed up there. It's the first time NASA has gathered material from an asteroid in space like ever. With us now is Beth Buck, the mission operations manager of the project at Lockheed Martin. This sounds kind of incredible. How did it go this afternoon? Oh, my goodness. It was so amazing. It couldn't have gone any better today. It's just been a fantastic day, a fantastic spacecraft and a fantastic team. Oh, that's amazing. So you land and gather stuff. What would you get and what you going to do with it? So it's the regolith material, the material on the asteroid that's basically been there for four and a half billion years. Wow. Um, and we're there just for a few seconds to get that gathered back so we can bring it back um, to find out what, how our solar system formed and what some of those basic organics and water components were early on in the forming of the solar system. So this thing that scraped the asteroid, what was it? How big was it? How would you describe it? Sure, we call it the tag SAM head, and it's um, a sample acquisition um, mechanism. It's about the size of an older car air filter, huh. and we actually come down on the surface with that. We compress down, we fire off some gas with nitrogen to stir up the, um, the soil and the material to put that back into that tag SAM head, and then we back away to protect that spacecraft and to get back so that we can then analyze how much sample we have and then are we ready to bring that home? So you did all of that this afternoon. When does it get back and what do you do with it? Right, so we've got to first make sure we have enough samples. So we'll be working through that the next um, few days and then determine if we're gonna stow that. Will all that goes well, then we'll leave the asteroid in March of 2021 to head back to Earth. But it's a long ways away. So we're gonna actually not get back and flying over Earth until September 24th of 2023. And that's when we'll do a, flight, a ballistic entry with just the sample return capsule, send it into the Utah desert, then send it to Johnson Space Center so that our um, scientists around the world, as well as our program scientists, wow. can start analyzing the, that material. Incredible. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.